Hello everyone, this is Ludwig, designer at UNO Platform. And today we're going to have a look at how to start projects using the UNO Platform Material Toolkit file. Um, whether uh, you're designing in the classical way, handing off to your dev team, or if you want to use the uh, code generation plugin UNO Platform uh, offers the community, your first step is to start by downloading the Figma file from the Figma community. So just type in UNO you know, Platform uh, Material Toolkit and you should come upon this page right here. Just click the blue button and this will create a copy of the file in your drafts. This is all uh, online, so nothing is local and you should be greeted with uh, this screen. So we'll start with an overview of the file. So if you look at the left-hand pane over here, You'll see that it's separated uh, into pages and layers. So when I select a page, the layer content under, underneath uh, updates. So the first page is an example app. So this is an app we've designed using the UNO Material Toolkit uh, components uh, exclusively. So you can uh, play around with this, uh, run the plugin on it, and uh, get acquainted with the toolkit. We'll come back to this page later on in the presentation. Uh, then the file comes preloaded with some documentation uh, that explains uh, how to use it. I won't go through this exhaustively, but you can peruse it uh, with your own copy of the file. We have a themes page, which includes icons, typography styles, uh, color styles, a uh, generation template for your icon uh, for your app icons and uh, some spaces to uh, save all your uh, project images uh, for a handoff with your dev team then we have a components page now this is the core of the design system it includes all of the components that mirror the uh, uno controls uh, again you have uh, table of content here that allows you to quickly uh, jump from one section to the next. So uh, I'll zoom in here so you can have a better look. Uh, we have all the buttons following the Material 3 uh, styles, fabs, floating action buttons, icon buttons, toggle buttons, check boxes, combo boxes, text boxes, everything you need uh, to create your own original design. And on top of components, we also have a page full of templates. So uh, assemblies of more comp of components creating more complex elements. So in atomic design terms, these would be organisms and the components would be molecules and uh, atoms, I guess, would be uh, elements from the themes page. So color styles and textiles, and shapes and icons. So these are the main sections of the file. Uh, you'll notice a few other things down here. So this is the cover image that's available that you'll find, um, sorry, the cover image that you'll see when you uh, search for a uh, UNO platform on the Figma community. We have a change log indicating the latest um, changes, feedback section, and credits to all the good people who contributed to this file uh, over the years and months of developing it. So if I come back to the example app, I'll just uh, conclude this overview of the file by showing you uh, or demonstrating uh, what the plugin can do. So the toolkit is actually two parts. It's the Figma file and the Figma plugin. You can do a search here in the plugin section of Figma for UNO you know platform, and it'll bring up this handy little tool. Uh, whose purpose is to uh, allow you to do some code generation uh, in uh, when you are uh, sorry in XAML or C sharp markup. Uh, the first step is just to select an element on the canvas and hit refresh, and then you'll get a preview. Now this preview isn't just a, a copy of what's on your screen; it's actually a live app you can interact with uh, that has all of its states. Uh, so if you, you hover on an element, you see that it interacts. Uh, if I select a page that has content, uh, you'll see that it's uh, scrollable and it has a nice little hover state. The same thing for the navigation. And um, so this is 
nice to uh, do a QA pass on your design, but the truly nice part is the export tab here, which allows you to export your code either in XAML or C Sharp. You can scope the code to be the whole page, or maybe you just want to see the color uh, dictionaries, the font overrides. In this case, there are no overrides because we're on default or localization elements. So that was a very quick introduction to uh, starting a project with the UNO Material Toolkit. And um, that's it.